What if Ben Tennyson scanned Cell from Dragon Ball? What would happen? Let's find out. Hey guys, what's good? This is Doran here. Today let's tackle something that's really interesting, a very interesting idea. So what if Ben Tennyson, who has the Omnitrix that can scan aliens and also transform into them, scanned of course Cell from Dragon Ball, what would happen? Now I actually saw this idea on a reddit post so credit to that post for bringing it up but yeah, the post has a lot of different contrasting views so what would happen? Let's actually tackle and talk about this. So why is this idea interesting because well, the question pops up, since Cell is made up of everyone else's DNA. What would happen if Ben scanned it? Since would it would it just so happen that if Ben scanned Cell, he would literally just become Cell, or would it, or rather, would he just scan every Z fighter's DNA that Cell is made up of, of, and not just Z fighters, but also villains like Frieza and King Cold? What would happen if Ben scanned them? Would he a, or a actually just become Cell, or b just become every every person that Cell consists of? Which of the two outcomes is going to happen? Well, now why why do people argue for the second one? Because well, the answer does seem obvious that well, since Cell is well, may Cell is a unique hybrid of everyone else's DNA, and he has his unique DNA of his own. It would be obvious that of course Ben would just become Cell and get Cell's DNA, since Cell is literally the amalgamation of everyone else's DNA and he has unique DNA of his own that just happens to come from the DNAs of others. Yes, so that's what will happen of course since that's who Cell is. But what is the reason that people could argue the other point of view? Well, the other point of view could be argued well because when Piccolo sends Cell's key, it was seen that Cell's key consists of literally every other person, every other Z fighter too. So that's actually something that is really a focal point of interest because, well, it does it just so happen that Cell's DNA is, is Cell's DNA isn't just his own and actually just consists of spliced of DNAs of all the Z fighters? Is that what's happening? Well, actually, not really. It's sort of more like that Chassel is the love child of every Z fighter that that Doctor Jiro took the DNA of. Why do I say this? Because that's literally what it is. As Dr. Jiro literally stated that, and that cell was literally made from the cells of every other Z fighter into something into a being of his own, a sentient being of his own. So yeah, the answer to this is the fact that Cell would actually end up Ben would actually just end up becoming Cell. And that actually raises a lot of interesting other ideas too. Will Ben go Super Saiyan since well well, since Ben is human and since Cell contained the DNA of Will Goku and and others, and Cell also had their abilities, will just but Ben will would Ben be able to turn Super Saiyan? I actually don't think so. But yes, it is pretty interesting that Ben could actually transform potentially into Cell. Also, I would just also like to tackle this final point. Just final the final point on the matter is that people also would argue that Cell's DNA also consists of humans like Krillin, so since Ben's, Ben's Omnitrix scans aliens, would, would, would Ben even be able to scan Cell, since Cell's DNA also consists of humans? Well, first, for this answer, for the, this question, we have to actually look at Albedo. Albedo was obviously Ben's opposite counterpart, who was actually originally a Galvan and a student of Azmuth, but yes, since he was able to turn into a human, it can be seen that the Omnitrix does acknowledge the acknowledge humans as an alien species of their own. So, yeah, that's actually that actually poses as no interference between well, Cell being a Cell being Cell still being an alien because he is just because he has human DNA of his own does not mean that it interferes with the fact that he is an alien being. Arvel also has also the fact that his DNA consists of other alien beings, that being the Mekins, Freezes race, and of course Saiyans. And even if it did, did though, it would it still stands to the, to the point the point still stands that he would still count as an alien because the Omnitrix does categorize humans as an alien species of their own. So yeah, 
That's what would happen if Ben Ben Tennyson from Men 10 actually decided to transform into Cell and actually scan his DNA. And yes, that's what that's finally what would happen. But another another, another final interesting point of view. I will just tackle this in a few seconds because I the video, I don't want the video to be too long. But yes. Yes, basically, what would happen? Could both out outcomes happen at the same time? I actually think not, because well, although it could be argued that both things could happen at the same time, and Ben could also get the DNA for Cell and also the DNA for other aliens that Cell is made up of, it won't happen because well, Cell's cells are unique, and it's the it's it's like saying that just because you can transform into one alien one alien sample, you could also probably get the sample from the from the DNAs of the two aliens that alien is the offspring of which is well obviously something that is a bit far-fetched and we have never seen in the series and that's actually likely not going to happen so yes final final conclusion Ben will just become into cell and yes thank you for the person who actually brought this reddit post up for uh, for bringing this question up and without of the way if you enjoyed today's video make sure to like guys and also subscribe without of the way i will be seeing you guys next time bye gamers bye